I find it hard to believe that One Piece, a titan of anime, created an open world game with an original plot. Yet it did so bad. To find the truth, I'm going to play through the entire game myself and earn the Platinum Trophy. First trophy is Fine Chopper, where we have to rescue our kidnapped emergency food from the Marines. This happened because the Straw Hats were forced to split up after a heist had gone south with a flying Supermarine as their leader. Luffy manages to escape the Supermarine, and on his way down, he was met with a final F U right on his back. We wake up hours later on a mysterious island. So we just talked to some green-haired girl who just told us that Chopper's been kidnapped by a bunch of marines. Ah, this is cool. The game gives us observation hockey. <laughs> there he is right there. He's so small and tiny. I'm coming for you, Chopper. All right, so this is like a shooter, but with Luffy? That's such a weird mechanic to have. Why is this shooting so much smoother than the combat? Chopper! <laughs> Right after that, the game awards us with a new rocket mechanic in which I can propel myself all around the map to travel faster. And it was in having fun with this is where I'd get my second trophy. Woohoo! Fly for five seconds during a single gum gum rocket flight without landing. For Xbox players, bro, who needs Spider-Man? Who needs Spider-Man when we can play freaking Luffy Morales? Woo! With our newly earned freedom of the open world, I decided to get revenge on what they did on Chopper. Beating those few marines earlier wasn't enough. I want to beat up some more. Oh, I get skill points? Doing this would net me three trophies before I began my next main mission. Marksman, which was for getting 10 headshots. Takedown Hobbyist, which is defeating 10 enemies with a takedown. And then Sharpshooter for getting 100 headshots. We'd progress through some non-essential missions and eventually we'd run into the second straw hat. Suspicious Woman! Now we're on chapter 6 of the game, and this mission is broken up to many side missions. Essentially, I have to find all of the Straw Hats for this one mission. The first Straw Hat on my list is Frankie. I would find out that he would be captive in an underground prison. There he is, Frankie. However, upon trying to free him, we would run into an unexpected problem. Whoa! No way. We got a pacifista. This would be our second cameo. I can disrupt his energy blast. I'm saving up for a level three ultimate, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Because I know that's that's what's gonna do the trick here. Aim at me again, I dare you. Oh! Let's go, level three ultimate time. Come on. <gasps> no! Mizuka, do the trick? Yes, sir. With that out of the way, we managed to successfully free Frankie and head back to regroup with the others. First step. Complete the first side mission. Saving Frankie is a side mission? Oh damn, we have to go save all the straw hats. Okay. So word around town is that there's a pirate hunter near the prison tower. I think we all know who this is, but I'm still eager to see him anyways. Pirate hunter. I want to see the pirate hunter. Oh shoot, it is him! We see Xoro taking a crack at the final boss himself. What an elite guy leaves and him and I are surrounded by androids. Alright, you know what? Idea time. Eagle Storm! How did I fumble? These guys are annoying! You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what? Get out of here. Ah, damn it! There we go, that was slightly annoying to deal with. Alright, so we found Zoro, now we're off to get Robin, who's in there. Again! She got locked up, again! Why are you always getting locked up? Oh, she acting like Princess Peach out here. Robin! Robin, how did you let yourself get arrested by fodder? Always being locked up in towers by the Navy. Yo, Tashigi! Tashigi, I ain't even gonna show the fight. Just get your... Oh. <laughs> how you getting arrested two times? Stop smiling. Now that I showed you guys me saving two of the straw hats, the rest of them were relatively the same. I found Usopp in a mining village, Brooke in a graveyard, and Sanji came to me when I was talking to Jean and he was trying to charm her up. This really long fetching mission would net me two trophies. One for reuniting all of the straw hats. Mission complete, give me the trophy. Straw hats united! We got all of them. Right after that, I would go ahead and spend some of the skill points that I earned from these missions. Now they need me over at Sapphire Town because a bunch of robot dudes started attacking. But before we do that, the other trophy that I got along the way was a miscellaneous one that I got for collecting over 100 materials. Oh, what? Material collector. I actually got a trophy for doing this ridiculous, stupid mission. It's at around this point where I realized that this game went from being ridiculously easy to all of a sudden weirdly challenging. Okay, what the heck? This game started getting so much harder. 
What the heck? Oh my goodness. They started to ramp up the difficulty. Or it was smooth sailing. Oh man. Oh man. I should have been upgrading my health this whole time. My health and my de defense is the exact same as it was before. So I'm kind of a glass cannon. And it would take less than an hour for me to regret this mistake. But before that time arrives, let's see some of the trophies I earned along the way. Long journey. Travel a total of 50,000 across the island. Oh, man. Yeah, I felt it. I can feel it. I'm glad they made it an achievement. It's so good to be rewarded for the most monotonous thing of this game. Oh, my God. So much traveling. Wanted. Defeat 200 sailors. Oh, no way. It's buggy. It's bu Top 10 cameos. Dude had me scared I'd be fighting a boss or something, but it's just buggy. I'm chilling. Oh, snap. I think I spoke too soon. No way! They brought an Admiral here, bro. This is overkill. Oh my god, we're so screwed. Is my health bar still low? It is. Ah, oh, shit. He just dodged out of my combo. Bruh! Alright, let's go. Bro, stay in one place, please. Oh my gosh, dude, just stay in one place. Where are you? That's a good spot for me to farm you, actually. Dude's trying to show off his speed, huh? Whoa! That did crazy damage. What the heck? Unblockable. And he teleported to me. No! Oh my god. No! Woo! It's that freaking sword move that I need to watch out for. No! Please land. Okay. This looks like a sword attack. Ah, oh, I need to wait. Come on, we got him in there. Is he gonna drop for this? No! Switch out! Switch out! Switch out! Oh my goodness. Yes! Yes! We beat him! The game wouldn't actually award us a trophy for beating this boss. However, two minutes later, we would be given one for opening a treasure chest. So between you and I, I'm just gonna say this is the Kizuru trophy. Really, it was just for reaching pirate rank 10, by the way. Which up until now, I didn't even know was a thing. Next trophy would be a story trophy called The Old Island, which would be awarded to me after I ran into- <gasps> What? What? Ren Goku? Uh, I have to fight him? You will not win. He's gonna throw meteorites at us, bro. Gear 4! Come on, come on. I've been practicing. <laughs> I'm just walking menacingly. Gear 4! Yo! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> yes, come back, come back. Oh, 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 yay! We're so close to beating him, guys. Come on. Got him! Oh, bro, those headshots? The best upgrade I could have gone for. Give me a trophy for that. That was hard. Yes, yes. Yes. That was a well-earned trophy. Here we have our first gold trophy, and that was for exploring the entire map. It was naturally earned as I played through the story. Damn. I love adventure! One thing I will say about this game is that I do appreciate its cameos. They don't feel forced and they feel really natural. On the subject of cameos, our next trophy is called To You, and that's for completing the main mission titled the same name. In this one, we also had to face an old foe. Oh, snap! But why are you wearing a mask? We all know who you are. What? What? What straight? Ah! He's so fast! Chill, this guy's not enemy speed. Chill, 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 let it die already. Whoa, he's got Skywalk? This guy's sick. <laughs> I'm getting bullied. Yeah, I understand how to beat this guy. You just gotta dodge. You just gotta dodge, pick and choose when to attack. Oh, what the heck? Bro, dude pulled out a new move I've never seen before. <laughs> No! Wait, I survived that. Oh, I didn't. Damn it. In the anime, that move he just used on me, that's usually what he does to kill people. He'd knock me out over and over and over again. 
I found that the trick was to hold on to my ultimates until his second half of the health bar, because that's when he begins using crazy moves like the one-shot assassination move. We got this! This is it! This is the only way win! I waited until the end to use this. Keep spamming, keep spamming. Hope it lands. Yeah! Yes! Yes! We did it! Man, do I need a trophy for bidding this guy up, bro? Oh my goodness, was that a nightmare. To you! Time to kick this video up a notch and wrap up this story. The Straw Hats plan to overthrow the final boss, who's revealed to us to be Jean's older brother. He's lost the plot and has disregarded the well-being of the citizens. We decide to rally up the citizens by hijacking towers. On our way to the towers, we attain 100% karma with the anti-navy faction. Basically, we became buddies with them for beating up a bunch of marines, and we'd earn a trophy for doing so. Furthermore, another trophy would be earned for opening 15 treasure chests. Afterwards, we'd hijack the radio and earn ourselves another trophy. With the Islanders on our side, I would go ahead and assist them with various side missions and would earn a trophy for completing a total of 20. Isaac notices the uproar and takes charge by unleashing an army of robots all around the island and even used one to capture his sister. We'd have to fight her to free her. What the? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die already. What the? Heck? No! Is that her? Did I do it? I did it! Yes! Oh my god, that was the strat. Hold on for as long as I could until I got gear 4. Am I alive? Damn, did I beat her that badly? What the heck? <laughs> This act of injuring your own family would enrage Luffy. He'd swear to take revenge on him. First things first, we're gonna improve our equipment because I'm sick and tired of being a glass cannon. This should now make all the boss fights significantly easier. We make way towards the Sky Prison, where we will be facing the final boss, Isaac, when unexpectedly, the craziest altercation this game has unfolds. Never imagined I'd run into the pirate I couldn't kill here on this island. This is the first time he's seen a Kaimu since Ace. Look at him, bro. Look at his eyes. That's demon time right there. Feeling the effects of the equipment upgrades, beating him would not pose a great challenge, but something beautiful happens in this fight. Again, Luke Luffy drops his guard, and Akainu is going for the kill. Only this time, it doesn't end tragically. Yo, <laughs> that flame look familiar? The name's Sabo, Army and Luffy's brother. Sabo easily overwhelms him, and those two face off while I go worry about the final boss. Using a cannon, we use cartoon logic and launch ourselves straight towards the Sky Prison. This whole altercation would net me a trophy for clearing the chapter. Sky Prison Ho! Sick mission. That was a sick mission. Sabo saving me from a kind who was about to puncture me in the back. That is a sick callback and nod to what happened in Marine Ford. Wow. And now it's finally time for the face to face with Isaac. Damn, it's on site. Iron Man. Okay, bro. Whoa, it's got a perfect dodge. Oh. You know what I can do, actually? I can use this fight as a good time to get my perfect dodge trophy. All right, it's okay. I'll let you get up, man. There you go. See? You can easily dodge the bullets. That's an easy, perfect dodge. We can keep doing those. Hey, evasion experts! Perform 30 perfect dodges. I farmed the hell out of that effectively. He was evolving even more. Dude went from being Iron Man to Hulk Buster. Dude got time powers now. Oh look, I can do a lot more damage to, to him this time. Whoa, good choose to come on the Oh, he's got keys to powers too. Oh my god! I wonder. I'll use Evil Storm. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lightwork, bro! What the heck? Trophy? Wait, what? With the primary story finally complete, we now move on to the post-game exploration. To begin this series of trophies, I will start with, I want to go to the Sky Islands, where we have to use that cartoon cannon and send us flying. Only this time, we're flying towards a Sky Island. Woohoo! Let's go! 
Hey. Wow. Can I just say, it's times like these where I actually begin to admire this game's artwork. I feel like the regular exploration isn't diverse enough, so seeing things like this is really refreshing. Now it's time for me to tackle the biggest hurdle of this game, which is its completion trophies. We'd accrue enough skill points from the story to unlock 40 skills. With these newly unlocked skills, we'd become a menace to the society and take down everybody we see. Notably, I love using Conqueror's Hockey. We'd defeat 100 pirates, and then 100 more enemies, but this time only with a takedown. And then with all of that fighting, we'd manage to perform 30 perfect guards, and then defeat a grand total of 1,000 enemies. We'll go even faster here. These following trophies were unlocked on the road to earning these two behemoth trophies. We'd reach rank 50, ask Straw Hats to go exploring three times, then do that nine more times for a total of 12, and from all of the side missions and treasure chests, we'd earn a bunch of lunchbox recipes and equipment items. And now, finally, the traveling I would have had to done between all of these would net me a trophy for flying for a total of 30 minutes in the air. Fly away? Yes! Oh, I thought I was gonna have to farm that afterwards. Oh, yes. I'll send you all flying trophy has us trying to defeat six enemies at the same time. To do this, I went back to the underground prison we saved Frankie in, where everything was compact, and I used my Conqueror's Hockey to knock them all out. I'll destroy it. Needed me to destroy 100 objects, which I never even bothered doing at all throughout the whole game. There was no real reason to. So, I went to a mine shaft and just got to work. And now we're here at the final phase. The game essentially requires us to obtain 100% completion, which means I need to reach pirate rank 100, complete 100 side mission, obtain all of the skills, and the most annoying one is treasure hunter. It needs me to open 200 treasure chests. Throughout the story, I may have opened like a total of 10. Oh my goodness, I am in for a long grind. So I'm gonna change my outfit to something that would look more like a treasure hunter would wear. This is cool. This is cool. This is- Hey, alright. So we got treasure hunting Luffy. I'm off to get the open 200 treasure chest trophy. Yeah, that just took way too long. Let's speed things up. Oh my gosh, is this where I get the trophy? I got nothing. Trigger Hunter! Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, thank you! <laughs> yes, yes, I finally got it! Oh, freaking day! Oh my gosh, I woke up at 10 a.m.? It's 2 a.m. right now. It's pretty poetic, but my 100th side mission would be a treasure hunt. Island Hero! Complete 100 side missions! Yes! 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 I'm recording too! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, we're in. We're in the end game. For the finale, the game needs us to be all four admirals, fighting two of them each time. Good thing I'm ridiculously overpowered right now. Now, mind you, this is the culmination of all of my strength from the entire playthrough. And now we're here in the final fight. Oh, you trying to blindside me? Ah, I don't think so. Bro, this guy used to be such a big problem for me. Now I can just one shot in my bet. Yep, <laughs> that's one shot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what? You, I got, a, I got a special something for you. Come here, come here. I'm gonna hit you once, and that's all there's gonna be to it. And just like that, these two beasts who used to be an absolute threat to me are dead. <gasps> Go all the way to the top. Power to level 100. All right, and now, for the moment of truth, this is the final skill. And with that, I won't lose to anybody, which means... <laughs> Platinum trophy! I'm going to be the Pirate King! Yes! Oh my gosh! With all of that said and done, IGN gave this game a 4.8 out of 10. It does not deserve a 4.8 out of 10. It has a decent original story. It's an open world One Piece game. How many animes can you say have made an open world game? Dragon Ball made, that's it, it's just Dragon Ball. From what I know of, feel free to let me know if there's anything else. The combat isn't so great, but when they animated cutscenes, those were fire. All in all, this deserves a seven out of 10. The story of this game was decent, but a fire story is the original One Piece plot. Check out this video where I played through the original One Piece plot in hopes of getting the platinum trophy.